Former US President Donald Trump made his first public remarks on Saturday since those explosive revelations in 37 counts relating to classified documents that he's alleged to have hoarded since he left office as US President. Trump was on stage at a Republican convention in the state of Georgia. These are sick, sick, sinister people. It's no wonder the swamp is getting truly desperate as they see us leading big poll after big poll after big poll. Trump using familiar language there that he used to defend himself in not one, but two impeachment trials when he was US president, of which he was acquitted. But he's also facing separate criminal charges up in New York. And yet legal experts are saying this case is significant because of the wealth of evidence that prosecutors have unearthed photographs of dozens of boxes of documents that we're told contain some of the most sensitive information that any government can hold littered around his homes in Florida and in New Jersey. And Trump is on audio acknowledging that at least some of those documents were classified and indeed that he was under subpoena to return them. So some, some legal experts are saying the standard of evidence here makes for a compelling case against Trump who's facing charges such as obstruction of justice and violation of the Espionage Act. This case also has significant implications for Trump's rivals who are battling him for the nomination for the 2024 presidency. Many of them have tried to distance themselves from Trump since the events of the January the 6th attack on the US Capitol as Trump was leaving office. Among them, his former president, his former vice president, Mike Pence, who's often refused to use Trump's name in the last two years or so. And yet Pence campaigning also this Saturday is at least supporting Trump's claim that this is a politically motivated witch hunt by US agencies. It's important to remember in America, you are innocent until proven guilty. The former president, like every other American, is entitled to a presumption of innocence. So Donald Trump is certainly prepared to defend himself in one of his most favored forums, rallying his base on the campaign trail. But he'll have a much more unwelcome public appearance on Tuesday when he's arraigned in the city of Miami. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.